What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to G-Ball Vision. Today, I have for you guys an extremely exciting unboxing to dig into. Before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Double check down below. I would love to have you here. And before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it. So I have for you guys today an extremely, extremely exciting unboxing. I'm going to take it off the uh, view of the camera just for a split second here. Uh, just because there's only one way into this box and it's through the top and that is where all the information is and I don't want you to see that. So let's see what we have here guys. Looks really, really good right now. So I have been talking with Austin over at traditional pocket knives and great dude first and foremost uh been a real treat to talk with him and you know get to know him a little bit better tons of swag in the package there and ooh, that'll go up on the re little wall there i got going on so i am now a an affiliate with tpk or C. Reisner Cutlery, uh, which Austin is now running. Uh, I believe it was his grandfather's business, uh, but he now has taken over, and he has been doing some incredible work over there. I'm a huge fan of what he's doing. So he decided to send in... Uh, we talked about it and tried to decide on a knife to uh, get in here to check out. And I said, I'd, not, I'd love nothing more than to check out your new slip joint. Uh, as much as I love a few of the other ones we talked about, uh, this is something that I have had my eye on for quite a while. And uh, so... After I'm done gushing here, what we have, guys, is the Lake Champlain, Champlain, I'm sorry, Lake Champlain Barlow. This is the single blade sheep's foot in natural canvas micarta. And uh, I have his very first design as well, which we can bring out here in a moment, the Ohio River Jack, which is a fantastic knife. It is... It is pretty much the slip joint that got me in to traditionals. And uh, it's been an awesome road through slip joints and really learning about them. Now I'm no, you know, I'm no expert on slip joints. I am trying to learn as much as I can from these guys who are designing these who are really into slip joints. Uh, Austin, Ben from Jack Wolf, guys like that who have been into traditionals, slip joints their entire lives. They have, they are filled with a ton of knowledge when it comes to these traditional slip joints. So we're getting M390 on the steel here and this has a beautiful sheep's foot blade nice satin finish i believe qsp is still oeming uh for tpk and uh they do guys if you don't know qsp uh does some top notch slip joints i mean some of the best slip joints on the market are coming from qsp uh, they are rivaling everyone else that I can think of. Uh, you know, even at like, say the $60, $70 price point, they do the QSP Hedgehog uh, in 14C and Micarta, which is an outstanding slip joint. And it's a perfect slip joint that you can get to see if you, you know, you can get high quality materials and a high quality build and uh, not pay a ton of money. And you can see if you like slip joints or a certain style of slip joints. This thing is perfectly centered. The walk and talk is just 
outstanding. Oh, and this thing is a great size. That's one thing about slip joints and traditionals that it's it's something that I haven't, I don't know how I want to say this, because of the nature of them and them typically being a little smaller or on the smaller side, it's something that I always just kind of steered away from uh, for many years. Up until about a year, year and a half ago, I started to kind of test the waters. But this guy right here is by no means a small slip joint. We're coming in about, whew, uh, it's about three and... Well, we're getting, okay, we're getting three inches of cutting edge and we're getting about just over three and a quarter total there. Uh, and then we're coming down right at seven and a half overall. So p very, very good size. And because of the design of the handle, even with XL hands, even bigger hands, you're going to have a very comfortable neutral grip on this knife and you don't have a pocket clip to deal with now with that being said ergonomically this is going to be way better than any knife that has a pocket clip uh, but you either drop this in your pocket as is or you need yourself a slip which you can get from traditional pocket knives and i happen to have one right here from traditional pocket knives. Uh, I've been a behind the scenes or in the weeds type of closeted slip joint guy. Uh, it's something I've really been tiptoeing around and experimenting with. And traditional pocket knives is where I typically go to buy anything related to slip joints. Uh, and like I said, I might as well bring it out now the Ohio River Jack here, which is also Austin's design, uh, this is what got me into slip joints for the most part. This is the knife. Now, uh, within a few days, maybe a week or two span, I tried two or so, I think two different slip joints. One of them was the Ohio River Jack, and the other was the original QSP Hedgehog. And these two knives right here, I have to basically thank for getting me into slip joints. I tiptoed with some very budget offerings like Rough Rider and Case, and they're all right. They're fine. Um, but, eh, you know, they're, they're all right. Brother knives, I uh, have some of their slip joints as well, but some of those were gotten after these. And here's a great size reference. Uh, the Ohio River Jack is a good size. And look how much bigger the Lake Champlain is than the Ohio River Jack and the Hedgehog. And I like the Hedgehog so much that I bought the traditional pocket knives exclusive hedgehog which is m390 and jigged titanium there so i'm a huge tpk fan uh at the end of the day he does great stuff over there great work uh these are all qsp oem these are you know qsp models here and then they oem'd both of the tpk uh edition slip joints and i have to say that the traditional pocket knives slip joints are some of my favorite slip joints. Uh, they are in that top tier of my favorite slip joints that there is. Look at that nice blade stock there. -hoo -hoo. This thing is an absolute beast. And I love that he decided to go with something like this on this design. And he has actually a couple different blade options. I believe there's sheep's foots, uh, there's clip points. I'm not sure if he, I think he might've even done Warncliffs as well. 
And the Warren Cliffs and the Sheep's Foots are, you know, they're kind of similar, but the Sheep's Foot is going to have a more canted down to the tip where the Warren Cliff will be a little longer. Uh, and then he has a bunch of different handle materials from just straight titanium. Uh, the micarta, different micartas. I think there might be natural, green, black. And then he's got a plethora of different carbon fibers. So lots of different options. I'll have everything linked down below in the description, which I already have linked down below. Uh, traditional Pocket Knives website. I have codes for certain knives on his website. You can go down there and check all that stuff out. Uh, those links will help the channel if you use them. Uh, let's Austin know over there. There's somebody out there watching, uh, basically. But uh, why don't we go ahead? We'll slide the ORJ out of the way. This should fit in this slip very well. Yeah. Oh, man. Woohoo, baby. So that's going to be a perfect fit. I, I should have actually a few different slips that I could try and use. Uh, and there's lots of custom makers, guys. If you know uh, you want something that has your own twist on it, where you pick, you know, your color and your stitching and all that sort of thing. Lance a lot, which I have him linked down below as well. And then you could go with something like Troy for, from uh, Northwoods Leather. But uh, if you don't want to wait and you want your slip now, I highly recommend just picking up one of the TPK slips. He already has them made up. Uh, they're not going to be custom, but they're going to fit a ton of different knives. I've used this with a bunch of different slip joints, and they are made extremely well. Uh, good stitching, nice thick leather. Uh, they're they're made to hold up and this thing has this thing's held up very very well considering uh, what it's been through over the last year or so so let's see what kind of edge QSP put on these bad boys so we have our prototypical magazine paper here Ooh, hoo, hoo, yeah see oh man that's so good look at that This is going to be a utility monster. Uh, with that style of blade there, this thing is going to be an absolute slayer. Just for kicks, why don't we see how it does up against just a single ply uh, piece of cardboard here, which we always do. Oh man, that thing is nice and slicey. Baby, this is just another, just another solid design from Austin. This is just a perfect size. If you have bigger hands and, uh, or if you just, maybe you don't have bigger hands, but you prefer a little bit bigger of a knife, man, will this uh, really fit the bill? I mean, comparing it to... Some of these other ones, it is just a monster. Uh, don't quite do it justice there when they're closed up, but the Ohio River Jack, like I said, this is a fairly stout and big slip joint. For a traditional slip joint, this is a fairly big, stout knife. But you, you compare it to this guy here, and it's just a monster. And it's so comfortable. Love this little swell that comes back here. Just very elegant swell to this tail end here. And, oh, man, that just transfers so nicely from the bolster area here down to the micarta. You have a nice little milling line there. Everything is nicely finished. Man, walk and talk is just amazing. Nice, strong springs. Can we do the old, can we do the Austin? 
Does he put it up a little further? Ooh, -hoo! we can do the old Austin. He's a nut. Here we go. Ooh, -hoo! if you do that carefully, you, you can do it. You can do it too. Uh, this thing is just well done, man. I don't know if he'll ever see this, but well done. Well executed slip joint. And uh, I think I will have to remove whatever was in this slip. I don't remember. And uh, this, and that match is really good too. Uh, I think that will have to go in there. And I might have to have a slip made for this guy. But uh, I've been trying to get into more of carrying not only my normal two folders, but also carrying a slip joint with me. And uh, just a perfect reason to go ahead and start carrying one with me. Get this micarta nice and patinaed up. Excellent, excellent job. Man, that's comfortable. Excellent job. Let me know what you think of this guy down in the comments. Have you been into slip joints, traditional style knives, whether they're newer traditionals like we have here or older traditionals uh let me know are you getting into slip joints or did you just recently get into slip joints i love hearing from you guys on topics like these and uh i'm interested to find out what you have to say about this guy and slip joints uh of course they're not going to be for everyone but uh i think for a lot of people to give something like this a shot, uh, I think you would be pleasantly surprised. And even if you like knives to fidget with, right? This is a slip joint that's well done, can be very, very fidgety. And this action, this walk and talk, if it's really good, like what we have here on the Lake Champlain, it gets very addicting. Those pops. Man. Very, very good. Uh, nice, strong springs. Great walk and talk. Great fit and finish. Excellent execution from QSP. And an excellent de design from Austin there at TPK. That'll wrap this one up, guys. We will do a full overview of this guy. And we'll be doing a full review here in the coming weeks. I'm going to carry the snot out of this thing and use it up. And we'll do a full review of this as well. Expect the overview a lot sooner. We'll do a deep dive into this and bring some more information maybe about Austin and the idea behind this knife and just kind of what his plans and thoughts are, that whole gambit of stuff. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below the video. I would love to have you here. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one. Massive shout out to Austin at TPK for sending this guy in for me to take a look at. Otherwise, guys, I will catch you on the next one.